Hello, I'm Doug Sharples, I'm your pilot in command, and welcome to my FSX, FS Economy, Great mod. This is episode number 30, and I know at the end of the last fight, I stated that we will be travelling to Monda in the Solomon Isles. Uh, we've had a change of plans, because at the end of the last video, I had a look at my finances, my monthly finances for pay, and we're hemorrhaging a little bit of money so I've decided to take a paying job which would have been our next job on the agenda and we are going to Gizo, Gizmo, Gizo we're going to be taking three passengers 315 nautical miles we're going to be travelling directly west so I'll just add this job to my flight I shall rent my aircraft in my aircraft I own this we're already set up in FSX I didn't even notice that. There's another job there as well, but I don't have room for it. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Mr. Government Official. I don't have the room for you to sit in. Maybe next time. I'll join you on the grass verge at the side of the runway because there are no parking spaces in Sorvano. So I'll dive out of this and I'll jump into FSX and we'll do all our checks. Get this uh, bird in the air. Hello everybody, welcome to Sorvano. Airport currently on runway 22. Uh, we're gonna load up our passengers. Well, they're already loaded. I'm gonna shut the door. Gotta jump into the cockpit. We're gonna get these passengers to Giza. Should take about an hour and 40 minutes. Direct flight. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification for any further videos, and give me a thumbs up. It gives my little channel. That little bit of an extra boost gets my videos promoted a little bit more. We'll jump into the cockpit and get all our checks, all our settings done. Just going to set the altimeter to 4,000 feet, which will be our cruising altitude. Get our engine started. Put our first notch of takeoff flaps on. And we'll tune to ATC. And we request clearance to depart. I forget, I'll just put all my lights on. Uh, due to traffic, we'll select runway 22 to take off and we'll depart through the west. The ATC off. Full power. It's gonna take a little while to get up in up to speed with it being a sand runway. Sixty knots. Rotate. Positive climb. Flaps up. Make our turning to the west. Contact center. Four 
Turn the old top pile on, turn the heading on. Change the altitude holding to 6,000 feet. Those views are absolutely stunning. Nice calm day, no winds. The problem is we're flying where I'm flying at the moment in the Solomon Islands. I'm just island hopping until I start getting to um, bigger areas of land. Well, a lot of these are just over, over sea. Again, Giza is just a small airport on an island. Another coral runway. But there are three parking spots as well. What I'll do now, seeing as we're nearing the top of the climb, I'll leave you with some outside shots and I'll rejoin you again when we get our instructions from air traffic control to start our descent and our approach to our landing.
Well, we've just been given our instructions to which runway we're going to be landing on. We're going to be landing on runway 32. Just continue on this journey until we start getting vectored from the ATC towards the runway and towards our arrival airport.
Oh, we've been given our instructions now to descend to 2,000 feet. I'm gonna keep giving me that message until I get down to 2,000 feet. Preparing backside, but I'm 22 miles away from the airport, so I've got plenty of time to get down there. There's no rush. currently descending at 500 feet per minute so it will take 6 minutes to get down to 2000 feet 7 minutes by that time they'll be giving me instructions to follow the lead to the airport second half of the flight has been quite enjoyable going past uh, a lot of islands uh, the one we're currently going over is called Arundel Island the one directly in front of that is called Vona Vona this island to the right of me is called Columbangara lots of little islands around surrounding the area that aren't named We're landing on Gizo Island. This is a very small airport. That turning is all I've had from ATC. Turn 210, turn 245. The whole of this flight. As I've just explained, three, four, five.
and we're going to be landing on the island that's currently at about our two o'clock to our right Fourteen miles away from the airport, approximately ten minutes. Up to 2,000 feet with plenty of time left. We're expecting the next turn to be towards the uh, airport.
I can't see the runway in sight yet as it's only on a small island I think it's in this two three small islands there and there's one just a bit further north and that looks like where we're going to be landing well we're just waiting now but 8.8 .8 miles away once we get to about 7.5 miles away then we'll start to do our descent that does look like the runway there but I'm gonna acknowledge with air traffic control and tell them that the runway is in sight Switch to one two two point nine. That's the runway in front. So I'm gonna take over from here. Manually land this thing. And I'm coming on a different angle. What they've given me. Aim for between those two islands. I think it's cancelled my flight following but I'm not too fast Put the first notch of flaps in I don't know why the airport is on such a small island like this Point one miles away. Start doing a light turn. Head for the gap. Thousand feet. Do all yet. Increase my speed a bit. Our oh, second notch of flaps in. All turns. Line up with the runway. Flaps. Why did I 
myself up nice over the runway. 400 feet. One point six miles. Hundred above. Wow. Didn't sound too healthy underneath. Flaps up completely. Not really anywhere where you can park. Even though there is three parking spots. Parking brake on. Engines off. Open the door to let the passengers out. Absolutely stunning. Uh, that looks to be a jetty, the way you'll catch a boat to the mainland. But what I'll do now is I'll go back into FSX and we'll go and check on the finances. We've made money off this flight, so it's helped towards our deficit this month hopefully we'll run it at the profit now so I'll just refresh the page saying they've no aircraft that's been rented we'll have a look at our payment logs and at $1,060 the assignment and we've had to pay $106.30 for the ground crew fee so we earn $956 off that flight we'll just keep that in our cash balance I'll not put it in the bank because I'm gonna end up using that money eventually for fuel etc etc i'm just going to keep this money in and now hopefully next flight we're going to be taking a port called mono we'll see whether there's any jobs that are going there one job going for courier service i'm paying 290 dollars but it's going to be done in 18 hours it's a rush job so i don't think that one will be good because it's getting quite late at night now i'm going to finish recording but with that until next time i'm hoping you're going to join me for the next flight don't forget if you made it this far in the video you like it hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification for any further publications any further videos and give me a thumbs up it helps my little channel that little bit more gets my videos promoted that tiny bit more until next time happy flightings. Yeah.